Hello everyone, welcome to another video on how to edit photos in Lightroom. In this episode, we're going to edit photos in Lightroom Mobile. I have my iPad Pro 12.9 in front of me. So let's go to Lightroom. Now we're going to go to Camera Row, which is your photo applications. I'm going to pick out a photo. From here, I'm going to pick a raw photo. I choose raw photo because it has the most data inside so that I can easily manipulate the photo. As you can see, a raw photo would have an icon that say raw on it. So today we're going to edit a photo and uh, hopefully be good enough to post it on Instagram. So I have a love for my car, which is a Subaru BRZ. And I love gloves and watches. So here's a picture of everything in one. Now, before we edit this photo, I like to make to see if I want 16 by 9. I always like pictures in 16 by 9. But uh, Apparently, I'm going to leave it as is because the current uh, original looks really good. And the original is actually will fit uh, Instagram easily because it's a more of a square type photo for Instagram. So we're going to leave it there. Next, we're going to go to, we're going to skip preset. So most of my video from now on, you notice that I don't do preset because I like to edit my camera manually. But you can play with preset if you like to see how the photo would pop. See, this photo right here would be really good. So if you want to see the before and after, use three fingers, tap on the screen to see the before, and now you see the after. So we're going to undo it with the button on the top right. Keep undoing. I believe this is the original photo. Is it? Uh-oh, I went all the way back. So went to go to crop again and choose original. Now go to editing. Uh, we're gonna work from here. We're gonna do everything manually. So now we're gonna skip black and white because there's a lot of photo um, colors in here that will pop. So I want to utilize that. White balance. Let's um, use the white balance. You choose a selector, and you would pick anywhere where it's white or gray. I don't see anything here. So let's go with auto and see what happens. So this is auto and this is as shot. And I like auto more. So I'm gonna stick with auto. You know what, let's go to daylight and see. Oh, daylight is so blue, so I'm gonna stick with auto. Now, I'm gonna skip temperature and tint. What temperature is doing is just uh, making it warm or cool. So double click on that spot again to go back to original. Tint, I never actually do tint because I, I find it very, it's too much. It's, you, 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 there's no need to go tint. This is uh, we're gonna try to be professional and trying to make the photo pop without overdoing it. So where is it? Is it in the middle? Oh, um, tint is actually plus eleven, so that's why I keep coming back to eleven where I double click on it. Double click is resetting. I thought it was at zero, but it's actually at plus eleven. So we're gonna leave it right there. Auto tone. The auto tone is good. Uh, I usually skip it. But to see what auto tone, what your picture will look like when you let the software decide, you click it. That's not bad. That's not bad. It's, it's brighter, but we're going to skip auto tone. We're going to skip exposure for now. Usually in regular Lightroom, like in, on a Mac, on a desktop applications, I, I go with shadow and highlight first. So shadow, you want to bring it to the right and try to bring out those dark places because um, to pop more because if they're too dark they're hidden from the photo and don't worry about it that means a lot of people like to go with the dark side of things to make it look more mysterious but we're gonna get back to that in a minute so I'm gonna go with a hundred percent because even with a hundred percent it still looks good usually uh, anything any photo that are not landscape uh, landscape photos like a scenery if you were to do that on a portrait, if you go to a hundred shadow on a portrait, it would look really bad. But this picture is fine. Since I can go a hundred there, let's see if I can go negative a hundred here. You will notice that uh, many times in my photo, for highlight and shadow, they are they are doing the opposite. Shadow, I go up. Highlight, I go down. So because look at the the top portion of the picture right here. If when I move the highlight down, you see the the sun is dialing down the, the, the brightness where my gloves are kind of go down a little bit and to show more more pictures because when it's too much you're losing 
you're losing the data, you, you're losing the, the photo um, that you want to uh, uh, tell the story. So the, the gloves is, I want to tell the story of the gloves, so I want to get more more of the gloves in the pictures. And to do that, we're going to have our highlight down, like right about here. Now, actually, let's go to 100 and see if it does, okay. So once you go to 100, it looks like the, the photo seems kind of fake, kind of like HDR, high dynamic range kind of style. If you don't know what HDR means, just, just, just type in HDR on Google and go to images and you see that those pictures really popped and a lot of pictures to the point where it looks unrealistic. So we don't want that with this. We want something like that. Now, we're gonna go to white and black. White and blacks are what we do after we do highlight and shadow. So we're gonna have to bring some white back because we um, we we make the highlight down. We we turn the highlight um, lower. Just just know that white bring back more whites that we have. Um, lost when we move the highlight down. So that is a good picture right there. So let's check before and after. See, it's already looking better. Uh, look at the background behind my gloves, like right around here. You can see that uh, it's, it's more brighter than... That's from um, what we do, what we have done so far. Now black. Black is the opposite. We want to uh, bring some black, some um, of the dark picture back when we did the shadow. So we're gonna bring some black back. This is called this is manual editing. This is getting the colors that we want. Now right around here, you can see my wheels cover. Um, the color is back. The black color. Now here is too. It's not dark enough for me. Now maybe a little bit more. Oh, that, see, all the way to the left looks really unrealistic. So I'm going to start from the left like this and move up until I see, hmm, people is going to like this more or maybe it's not too unrealistic. And then I will stop about right there. Now let's go and see our before and after. Three fingers on the screen and hold it to see the before and now the after. Now this will look really good uh, when you post this on Instagram. Now this is manual editing. On Instagram, they have filter for you. But for someone who likes perfection, so something that you can control, you want to do manual editing. And plus, it's a good, a good skill to have. And you can do this anywhere. You know, you have the pictures, you have Lightroom on your phone, why not do it? Just take a little bit time. And you can tell people that you did it, not like choosing a filter. Because today's, it's always filter. Here, you can just like, hmm, I did this myself. It's not a filter. It's my filter. Now we don't want to mess with clarity. I, I never like to mess with clarity. Uh, I want to show you what clarity would do. It's over sharpen and making the picture pop like fake. I, I always stay away from pictures that looks real fake. So this is what it looks like. If we do that, this is what's before. You know, I actually kind of like it for this kind of picture. Let's, let's go see. Let's keep going. Okay, that, that popped. Ooh, that looks good. Oh, okay. That, that's this is too much. So starting from too much, let's go down. Ooh, I'm looking at the wheels right now. Okay, so at this point, the wheels looks good, but the gloves looks real fake, and I do not like that. So I'm gonna go down. I'm gonna dial down on the wheels. Let's go. Let's go see. So right here. Basically double tap to reset and click on the top right to go back to that spot again. Mm, let's go down a little bit more. I'm very much of a perfectionist, so I would spend a lot of time on this, which is very annoying, but it's my passion, so I don't mind it. Mm. Okay, so let's double click to go back to original and then the top right button to go to what we have so far. So I like this, a little bit clarity, it's not bad. Now for vibrance, vibrance and saturation you have to be careful of. That will make your color pop. Most of the time, I'm only spending time on saturation. So let's go up and see. Ooh. Okay, so we wanna make. Right now, I am actually looking at the sleeves, the blue sleeves and the orange leather band. 
it's actually orange in real life. It's kind of like orange and brown. But I want to make it so that it pops a little bit more right there. Okay, so in saturation, we go up a little bit and see the result. I'm just sliding through this and trying to replicate the real color without going overboard. So basically, we want to we want to make the color pop, but without making it look so different, so unrealistic. So for example, you see this this line right here. That's supposed to be red stitching. So I want to stay red. Right now it's pink. We want to go back to somewhere. This is the original. Somewhere like it's still. Uh oh, that's clarity. Gotta go back. I changed the wrong one. Ooh, clarity. Changed the wrong one. So go back again. I do change the clarity. Yes. What was clarity like before? Clarity was only two. Okay. So go back to saturation. So this is too much right here. This has become pink. So now we go back right around there without messing up the pictures. So now we have it. We have the pictures that we want for Instagram. Let's look at the before. Very, very dull, right? You don't see any color pop. It, it doesn't look like anything, but you can change all that. You can make it look like this. Now let's go back to auto tone to see if we did it better or auto tone did it better. So click on auto tone. Mm. I didn't like auto tone. That's 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 not enough for you you know. I mean, this picture is nothing to look at basically. I'm I'm saying that because it's true. Um it's just I'm showing off my watch, my gloves and my uh basically my wheel cover. And if you notice there's some carbon fiber wrap here. I'm really proud proud of that. I wrapped that. It took me like 1 hour. Anyway, go back to topic. That's that auto tone one. That's when you let the software decide on what is good. But if you turn it off, this is what we have. And I like this more. More pop. Let's go back. Yep. Yep. I like this more. Ooh, that's pretty. Okay. So um, as we're doing all this, remember to click on the check button on the top right. If you don't, you are not saving anything. You went back to original, which is which will be a waste. Okay. So now we have this picture. Let's share it to uh, save to camera roll. We want maximum availability. Now uh, this will take a minute. Ding, 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 ding. Okay, it's done. Let's go back to our photo app. Now you can see the before and after. Let's see. Uh, uh, here's another trick, okay? I want to do a comparison between a photo uh, before and after. Basically, what I'm going to do is I'm going to select two photos. So click on the select button on the top left. I mean, top right. Check the two photo that uh, we have before, I believe this is the photo, yeah. So this two photos, so the left one is the one before editing, the right one is the one after edit. And then you would click on add to, and we're gonna we wanna choose new album, call it, we're gonna call it comparison, and save. Now we can go back to album on the top left, click on the top left to go back, choose the album that we just created, which is the comparison. Now you have both photo in here. Now we can compare it side by side. So, well, not really side by side, but you can swipe it. This is the after, before. So before, after, before, after. I really like the the four, the, the the colors. It's, they they really do pop. It's just amazing that what you can do with with a mobile device these days. That is beautiful. This is this is uh, Instagram uh, approved. So that's it. That's how I edit a uh, a photo. I actually turn a really boring photo into a really hot one. This is this is amazing. I'm I'm in love with this.